Hello, my name is Ed St. Amant, and this is my new student dialogue vlog thing for Library 100. And uh, I am, I did the male, female, or yes, please new student dialogue. And to be honest, I was kind of weirded out at the beginning because I didn't, I learned a lot of like new words about gender that I didn't know were even real. But, anyways. Uh, I feel the group did achieve true dialogue because it, it felt very open and uh, the environment was good. Like every, anyone could say whatever they wanted and like it was, it was comfortable, I guess. So I guess that's true dialogue. There, there was no, uh, I don't know, like no one was like getting mad at what other people were saying. It was just like open and comfortable. Um, there were active voices. Uh, definitely the the people who were teaching it we're speaking a lot, but I feel like more than, I talked to my friends and a lot of them, no one else really talked, but in ours, a lot of people were talking and uh, getting involved and like asking questions about it. So there were a lot of active voices. I actually spoke more than like anyone else. I don't know why. I was just in a good mood. So I was talking and learning, and getting involved in uh, this new student dialogue thing. Um, there were some reserved voices, just people that didn't really care and they were just doing it because it was required. Um, and I guess I went in with that, with that idea. I was like, I'm just going to sit through this and get it over with. But then as it went on, I was kind of like enjoying it, learning. Because I like to learn. But uh, yeah, uh, what role did I play? I already said I was, I was asking a lot of questions. I was probably like the most involved, I'm not bragging or anything, but I was the most involved student in my new student dialogue. And I just talked a lot. I don't know. I'm a friendly person, I guess. I don't know why I'm saying that. I like to share information. I'm comfortable. I was comfortable in that environment, so I was just talking. I was just talking away, asking questions. I thought it was pretty interesting. And uh, I think, why do I think it is a component of Library 100? Um, I, think, I think it was really good. I learned a lot about... Uh, different genders and like how people can be like confused about their gender and like I don't know before this I was more like kind of like the whole like southern thing I was like growing up in it was like kind of wrong to do that to just be like confused about that stuff but like the teachers had times in their lives where they were confused about that and like they were just great nice people so I definitely became more uh accepting of people like that you know it's just like they're people they're people too so that was good I mean if you guys, whoever's watching this, the Library 100 people, you, it was successful what you were trying to do. Like, it was a useful tool in my university experience. Like, I'm now, like, just because of that, I'm, like, more open to people like that and just, like, kind of talking to them and, like, ask them what they, what they think. I don't know about stuff like that. Like, I'm not going to be, like, closed to people who have different beliefs or, like, think differently about their gender, you know, because they're, they're people too, so, um, yeah, so as far as that goes, I had a good time. I talked a lot, and <sighs> I've been talking a lot in this, but the time just hasn't gone anywhere. Well, uh, additional thoughts or observations. Actually, actually, what I wasn't expecting, there was like, um, they had like good exercise exercises for us, and it was just like kind of just something for everyone to open up to the class if they wanted to, and it was like a lot of a lot about religion. A lot of people were talking about that, and so I thought that was cool. I shared about my religion, and, but about my beliefs, and it was good. I and then I stayed afterwards and talked to the teachers, and they were really nice. And I just like like told them like, you know, I like go to church, and I love Jesus Christ, and I told them like they've probably been victimized by the church, you know, because they're, like, different. And that's been happening a lot nowadays. But I told them that they're always welcome. Like, that's, like, with the guy we follow, Jesus Christ, he would accept them, and we're supposed to accept them too. So it's, like, I don't know why people in the church have been unaccepting to people who are different, because that's wrong by our beliefs. We're supposed to accept everyone. So I told them that, and they are just really nice people. And I had a good time and learned a lot. And I hope... I am doing this assignment right. Um, so thank you for, I learned something. I'm now more accepting to people 
and it's a very diverse campus, so it's good that I'm more accepting to people because I'm going to be meeting a lot of different kinds of people. And that is all. Have a good day. My name is Ed St. Amand, and I love Clemson, and I love Jesus. Go Tigers. Stop.